another great look at the Eiffel Tower all lit up on this evening as we welcome you back to event number five of six events in the ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating. Trophy La Ligue continues now with the ladies taking the ice, getting ready for their short programs here. And the overall Grand Prix standings through four events. Michelle Kwan, the only one to have mathematically clinched so far. So Glova and Hughes in a great spot and Maria Boutierskaya trying to wrap up her spot in the final in Tokyo this week in Paris. And hi again, everybody. Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers, and Susie Wynn back with you. Maria Butierskaya in a familiar place. She often enters a competition as the clear-cut favorite, but what is unfamiliar territory for her, she doesn't know where the competition's coming from. Usually she's got a rival or two she can point at, but here a number of young skaters really trying to take her down, Susie. Where is she in terms of her skating right now? Well, she says that this season really feels different for her. She's not coming here as the world champion. That makes her feel a little more vulnerable, less protected from the judges and by the judges. When I asked her how she perceives her competition, she said, well, if I skate very well, there's no competition. If I skate poorly, everyone's my competitor. But she knows as well as anyone that she needs to not only turn in a strong technical performance, she has to bring her grace and beauty to the sport as well to keep the balance in her favor. She's got it figured out at least, it sounds <laughs> she does. like, uh, here in Paris. Well, at the other end of the spectrum is a youngster making her senior international debut, Peter. Jenny Kirk, only 16 years of age from the U.S. Definitely. I just love it when somebody new comes on the scene and that's definitely Jenny Kirk. She's a world junior champion and this is her first international Grand Prix event. Now for a skater this is a big step up. There's a lot of excitement but there's a little bit of fear. Think about it. She's going up against Maria Buterskaya so when Jenny Kirk gets on the ice for the short program her heart's going to be pounding. The adrenaline will definitely be pumping but she knows it's her chance to make a big splash in ladies figure skating. She just hopes it goes well here and it'll be interesting to see what she can do. Well, the short program, as always, two minutes and 40 seconds in length. And, Susie, there are eight required elements here. The eight required elements are very difficult, but the most difficult is the jump combination. Most women are choosing to do the triple Lutz double toe loop, and that's really going to separate the people that stand on the podium and the people that aren't there, too. And it's the current French national champion who gets things underway. Here are the ladies' short program, Vanessa Guzmaroli, the 1997 world bronze medalist since then it's been a bit of a struggle trying to get back to that level but she is here in home in her hometown she lives and trains in paris She's opening up with the very difficult triple let's double toe combination. Watch the right leg extend back. Very secure. It's a nice good start. Height on that. Susie mentioned earlier on the triple Lutz, it's the right foot that vaults into the ice and gets you up in the air. Same thing here, but now off of a back inside edge, and she stumbles on the landing there. Well, we saw Vanessa a few weeks ago in Germany at Nations Cup. She was great in the short program there. She, in fact, she was one of the top contenders. She was in third place going to the free skate, but just a disastrous free skate there, and she fell all the way to sixth place. Last Not jump it. in the short program here, the double axle.
you know, a very secure performance other than the trouble and the preceding footwork into the triple flip. She really had trouble there, and those mistakes can't be made at this level. And she did a nice triple Lutz, but not her best. So Vanessa Guzmaroli, her effort here in her hometown. Let's see what the judges think in a moment. What she does well is let that right foot jab in and get herself up into the air. Nice height, and she's able to complete a nice double toe loop after that triple Lutz. That was fine, but then the steps coming into this triple flip, not as secure. She just does not seem to carry through the good technique, and watch her just fold, and down goes the hand, a stumble for her, and that'll be a deduction. All right, so now the first set for Vanessa Guzmaroli. Required element marks, 4.8 up to 5.1, the range. Well, at this point, you just cannot stumble on the triple jump, and she stumbled on the triple flip, and that just can't happen. And now the second set for presentation, almost all 5.5. There is one 5.6 from the French judge. You just can see where you really get taxed if you make a mistake on so, the jumps. Vanessa Guzmaroli sets the standard. The rest will try to match. And when we come back, the 99 world champion, Maria Butirskaya, will take the ice. She realizes how hard it will be to get her title back. Не знаю, мне кажется, в прошлом году мне немножко легче было выступать, потому что как бы я выходила на лёд. I don't know. I think last year it was a bit easier to compete because I was the world champion. I think some of the mistakes were forgiven. This year, I don't have the leeway for mistakes. So I think it will be more difficult this year. Back in Paris, the ladies' short program continues. Terry Gannon, Susie Wynn, and Peter Carruthers with you. And here is Maria Butirskaya. She won a couple of weeks ago in Germany at Nations Cup. So she is trying to remain undefeated on the season in the Grand Prix, win her second gold medal and trying to clinch a spot in the Grand Prix final. The music Send More, performed by Sarah Brightman. Got some good speed going into her triple combination. It is the triple Lutz, double toe loop, and that's one of the better triple-double combinations I've seen her do. She really bent her knees, allowing her to get up in the air. And this is the jump that she struggled with at Nations Cup, preceding footwork into the triple flip. A lot better, but still a little shaky on the landing. taking off forwards. Nice pacing throughout. spiral sequence you have to choose three different types of spirals
I think she looked more comfortable with this short program, and certainly the jumps were indicative of that this time. Everything. She just has skated with a lot more speed. I'm sure that she wants to be world champion once again. You can really sense that. She had to prove herself so many times. You go back to when she was 15, and in Russia, the Central Army Sports Club said, hang up your skates. you got no future in figure skating. She didn't listen to them. She went on eventually to win that world title in 99, and now a different outlet this year for Maria Butiraskaya, not trying to defend a world championship, but certainly the overwhelming favorite here. Here is the triple Lutz. She really gets up into the air. That's what she needs is the height to complete the triple Lutz and then a nice double toe loop. And the one thing that she really looks so nice doing, she's just got a beautiful flair, very pretty elegance and softness through her arms and a real sensitivity with her music. Now with her coach, Elena Chekovskaya, her sixth coach, but she has been with her for quite some time now. Required element marks 5.6 to 5.8. You know, these are good marks for her, and look at her. For the, she's really relaxed. She's happy that she's skating well early in the season, and that's good for her at this point. Yeah, kind of feeling her way through in Germany a couple of weeks ago, but not here in the short program. Presentation marks in the 5.859 range. When you can see, this is definitely where her strength is, but she's really balancing the technical and the artistry really well here in the short program. And a very good start to Trophy La League for Maria Butyrskaya. She takes the lead. We're coming right back with another Russian skater, this one a teenager. Victoria Volchkova skates when we return to Trophy La League. <laughs> is Victoria Volchkova, the 18-year-old from St. Petersburg, Russia, she has won two bronze medals at the European Championships, but it's been a bit of a struggle so far this year for her. A fourth at Skate America, a fifth at Cup of Russia. Victoria Volchkova gets a lot of height on her jumps because she really does bend her knee and launch into the air. The problem is sometimes she gets up so high she starts to lean and she has trouble. She will open with the triple Lutz double toe loop. And just perfect there. No trouble. And again, this triple flip is a tough jump for these ladies. She struggled with it at Cup of oh. Russia, but she's really got the feel for it now. Well, she's got to be pleased with that. What a step up from the first two competitions of the series. I just get the feeling the more confidence she has, the more polished she'll become. 
the smile creeping on her face. She, yeah, she's got to be thrilled because she has not been that good throughout the entire season. Last year, a couple of silver medalists in the Grand Prix, including one right here at Trophy La Ligue. But a good performance to start this year's La Ligue for Victoria Volchkova. We've been talking about bending the knees and what she does here to get up in the air. Look how she really trusts her knee bend, and that's what gets her the height. She's able to really spring off the ice, and that's evident there on that triple Lutz double toe loop. And the same thing here on the triple flip. That really helps her jumping technique. Very good. Along with her coach, Victor Kudryantsev, Victoria, to use an NCAA tournament term, is really on the bubble when you look ahead to the Grand Prix final. She and Jennifer Robinson, Vanessa Guzmaroli, all trying to get there. Required element marks 5.2 to 5.7. Peter, these seem a little bit low. The only thing that I could say that was slow was the circular footwork, one of the footwork requirements. And now for presentation, 5.4 up to 5.7. And she doesn't execute within her presentation the way Buterskaya does, but boy, she really has a great foundation within her jumps. And right now she is in second place right behind Maria Buterskaya. And up next, the three-time and reigning Canadian champion, Jennifer Robinson, skates when Trophy La Ligue continues. Volchkova and Vanessa Guzmaroli of France, but here is Jennifer Robinson taking the ice, the three-time and reigning Canadian national champion, 23 years of age from Windsor, Ontario. off and hold longer so that you can really see the line. She stops them before you fully appreciate the body line. First female skater from Canada to finish in the top 10 at the World Championship since 1994. Her eighth place finish in Nice last season guarantees Canada two spots at the next World Championships in Vancouver. Skating into this triple Lutz with not great speed, but she does 
manage to get the jump off, have a nice one foot landing and then a nice double toe loop after that. And this is where she two footed the exit of the flip. You can just watch the left foot here start to drop. She loses that core strength and isn't able to hold the free hip up to keep the landing nice and clean. And now the marks, 4.6 to 5. Wow. On the range on the first set. Those are low. 4.6 from the Belarus judge. That's somewhat of a surprise. I wouldn't have had it that low. However, she does have a two-tenths deduction for the touchdown. And now presentation marks a wide range there. Susie, 5.0 to 5.7. It's hard. This program's a very soft program. It's either, it, it just doesn't hit you really hard. And I think they're picking up on the musical choice. Alienates some judges and uh, other judges yeah. like it very much. So a wide range in all those marks. Jennifer Robinson down in fifth place overall at this moment. When we come back, and early, but here is Yulia Soldatova, the 19-year-old from Moscow, but now... She represents Belarus. She has represented Russia in the past, but has made the move so she can get to the Europeans and World Championships. And this is a skater that won the bronze medal at the 99 World Championships with all the competition in Russia. She felt like she really wasn't get, getting the credit that she deserved. So that is now why she is representing Belarus. She has not been consistent in practice. And right there, uh, a disastrous start on the triple Lutz. Not completing the rotation, a big fall. Four tenths of a point right off the bat. It's funny, all of her connective moves look very confident and strong, so that comes as a shock. But no, tilting, you can just see it coming in when the technique is gone. And in that case, same thing as the triple Lutz. Remember, 6.0 is a perfect mark. So right now, she's already got 8 tenths of a point off the required elements mark. So, big setback. a skater that was so good last year in the Grand Prix, too. She had three silver medals in the Grand Prix, went to the Grand Prix final. She came in fourth. Well, like you said, she's trying to find a country that will support her, and that wrecks havoc on your confidence, I am sure. That's really too bad because she has great presentation and she expresses herself very well on the ice, but without the jumps, not good. Yeah, not what she wanted at all. Tough to smile after that for Yulia Soldatova. Stable, not the case here. She gets up into the air, she's straight, but she doesn't complete the rotation, the left leg staying in front instead of going back to have a nice continuous edge coming out. That was the first mistake. And then here, she comes in on what we call a flat edge. That is, she skates straight into this jump, and she has trouble creating the rotation that she needs to complete three rotations. So she needs to really improve that in order to have success. Well, the flowers look nice, at least. She searched for some positive things to say after a disappointing performance. By the way, Yelena Chekovskaya, same coach as that of uh, Maria Butyrskaya. 4.2, 4.6, the range. A world bronze medalist looking at 4.2. She knows that's way below what she should be getting, but 
The jump technique just wasn't here today. No. And now for presentation, 5.1 up to 5.5. From the judge from Belarus, the high mark of 5.5. So, Yulia sold out of a very disappointing effort. She is all the way down in seventh place. Up next, young American making her senior debut on the international stage. Jenny Kirk skates when we come back. It's really exciting. Last year, I never thought that I would be in this position and be skating here. So I'm just really excited to be here. And I'm here for the experience. I'm not like worried about placement or anything. I just want to skate well and have a good time. Back in Paris, where Maria Butierskaya continues to hold the lead, but here is the 16-year-old from the U.S., Jenny Kirk. Her senior international debut, but you're looking at the 2000 World Junior Champion. She'll open up with the difficult triple lutz, double toe loop combination. Here's the triple lutz, and there's the double toe loop. Business as usual for her. Plenty of experience internationally as a junior skater. She won the silver medal at the 99 Junior Grand Prix Final, but her first time at this level against names like Maria Butierskaya. <laughs> Just very composed, excellent triple flip. She danced with the Boston Ballet. Also was a competitive gymnast up until the age of eight. Her hometown is Newton, Massachusetts. for being so young. And this is really the first time I've heard the audience clapping, getting behind the performance. Last jump for her in the program, the double axle. Not very high, but she did get the job done. variations on this combination spin. A nice low position in the back sit. Very hard to do, the legs get tired. She doesn't look tired at all. Well, not only <laughs> did she come out here and deliver a perfect program, but she had a good time doing it. <laughs> Great for her. Yeah, that is a natural smile on her face. Uh, you don't see any signs at all of intimidation. No, or not at all. Maybe some of the, the nervous energy that you might expect. Well, she lives and trains now in Cape Cod. Evan and Mary Scott Boulder coaches. We coach Nancy Kerrigan, Paul Wiley. What a great debut for Jenny Kerr. Very sure of herself skating into this triple Lutz. Three rotations, and she'll reach back with the left foot and get a nice double toe loop off. That was the first element in her program. Good way to start. She's just always consistent here in the triple flip. Watch the nice tight position there and beautiful back position on the landing. Emmy Scuffold alongside. It's got to be proud no matter what happens with the marks here. We'll see. The judges give her her due. Well, right away, this is not right. A 4.9 from the Japanese judge. This is much too low. She did not make a mistake. And she's clearly being held back because of the judges not really wanting to give her the marks at this point. Just coming on the scene, and you do see that happen often. Presentation marks now 5.0 up to 5.7. What a range. This is uh, nice to see the 5.7, but uh, the first marks uh, should have been higher. 
for sure. So a great performance, a great debut at this level for Jenny Kirk, but now she's got to settle for fourth place after the short program. So as expected, it is Maria Butirskaya who has the lead over Victoria Volchkova, then Vanessa Guzmaroli of France in third, just ahead of Jenny Kirk. And Susie Wynn has made her way over to have a word with a young 16-year-old from Massachusetts. Susie? Thanks, Terry. Junior World Champ Jenny Kirk. Now, how does this uh, compare to winning uh, the Junior Worlds? Um, this is a lot more exciting, I think, because it's senior competition, and I didn't know where I was going to play. So to be fourth after the short is really great for me because I think my long program is my strong point. Now, when you were warming up, you didn't look nervous at all. How were you able to combat the nerves for this first senior international? Um, I think I was nervous, but I don't usually get that nervous before I compete. I just take every competition at a time. And yeah, it's senior, but the competitors last year were really good as well. So I was just concentrating on myself. Has everybody been pretty nice to you, not intimidating? Um, no, I'm used to it. So I like competitions. I like being against other people and watching what they do. So it's fun. Well, good luck in the free program. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Terry, back to you. Susie, thanks. So Thanks. So a 16-year-old having a ball here in Paris this week. Don't forget, you can see the finals in Paris and Ice Dance over on Lifetime. Friday evening being the at 9 o'clock Eastern. And then the ladies and the men skate for the gold medals here at Trophy La Ligue Sunday afternoon on ABC Sports. Our coverage begins at 2 o'clock Eastern, 3 Pacific. Until then, for Susie Wynn and Peter Carruthers, I'm Terry Gannon. Good night from Paris, everybody. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.